The Clan project is a collaboration between global law firm Hogan Lovells and two voluntary organisations, Justice for Magdalene's Research and Adoption Rights Alliance. The purpose of the project is to provide free legal assistance for anybody who would like to make a witness statement to give to the Commission of Investigation into Mother and Baby Homes and certain related matters in Ireland. The second purpose is for Adoption Rights Alliance and Justice for Magdalene's Research to be able to compile a group submission to the Commission which compiles the witness statements of people who would like to donate them um, and have them anonymised to form part of an overall submission that looks at systemic issues. Making a witness statement can help a person give the most comprehensive account of their experience as possible to the Commission of Investigation. It will be done over potentially a few different phone calls a person has a chance to go back and to revise and to add things to their witness statement that they might not have included the first time they spoke to the solicitor on the phone. So it's a really comprehensive, thorough process. Once you have a witness statement from Hogan Lovells, it's yours for life. You can do what you want with it. We're really lucky to have Hogan Lovells help with this project. Because they have offices all around the world, they'll be able to help anybody who wants to give evidence to the Commission, regardless of where they live. And because of their experience, they'll be sensitive in dealing with the issues, and they'll also be able to deal with all the information coming in. They'll be able to draw parallels, they'll be able to reach accurate conclusions, and hopefully their assistance will mean that at the end of the day, we're much closer to understanding the full truth of what happened to unmarried mothers and their children in Ireland in the past. We're making our own group report, which will draw on witness statements donated by people who wish to donate them and they'll be anonymised, and also any available archival and documentary evidence. This group report will of course go to the Commission to help it make the most comprehensive findings and recommendations possible. It'll also go to the government and potentially to international human rights bodies. It'll be available to the public and it will be backed up by a publicly available archive of any documentation that we can make available. At the end of the day, what we're doing is trying to give as much public access to as much information as possible.